Welcome to another Teddy Bear the Miniature Horse update. And for those of you who are new, uh, please feel free to subscribe. This is my journey in raising a miniature horse from a foal. This is our miniature horse, Teddy Bear. He is six months old now. And today I'd like to show you some of the things I've been working on with him. I, of course, have been working on walking with him on the lead line, walking, and just starting to do a little bit of trotting. And this is just a little, some post that I set up to practice going in and out of the post for just to practice with steering with Teddy. And I also um, set up a little jump. He is full of energy and he is getting at the age now, he's getting bored. He wants things to do, things to think about. So I work with him just one time yesterday, just for a little bit, but that's a little jump that I have Teddy. He's gone over it a few times and this is the area um, you will see me lunging Teddy. Um, for those of you who are not too familiar with horses, lunging is where a horse goes in a circle around you. You're in the center. You don't just stand right in the center. You kind of do a tiny little circle in the center. And it just encourages the horse to walk, trot, and canter around you. Now, Teddy's very young, so I don't want to do too much of that. Even all of my training, my training sessions with Teddy Bear are very short. Um, I do frequently every day, but I do not do them for real long. I want Teddy to mostly just run around and play and be a, a foal, but I also want him to learn manners and learn the basics of horsemanship. <clears throat> of course, because he's small, he'll probably grow to be maybe 34, 35 inches um, at just about at the withers, which is the top of the shoulder for those again who are not familiar with horses and horse jargon as um, so many times we just throw these terms out and if you're not used to horses you don't know what we're talking about but he is going to stay small and miniature horses are used of course as companion animals and pets they also make wonderful therapy animals they will take them into nursing homes and they do other kinds of therapy work and one of the most fun things I have found with miniature horses is to drive them. They can carry a small child, they can be ridden by a child, but usually you don't want the weight to be any more than 60, 70 pounds, including the saddle. And of course, that depends also on the size of your mini. You can have a very tiny mini that will not be able to carry that much, or you can have, please don't knock over my tripod. No, you don't want to knock over my camera tripod. You are just an imp and getting into everything anymore. And so, um, they can be used to be ridden by children, but they they can, like I said, they can carry about 60 to 70 pounds. Ah, ah, that's enough of that. No, you're not gonna play with that right now. They can carry about 60 to 70 pounds, but pulling, when you drive them and have them pull a cart, they can carry anywhere from 800 to 1,000 pounds, depending on the size of your miniature horse. Now you've seen, if you've seen in my other videos, you see my other miniature horse, Salem. Salem is a very good driving horse. I have driven him a lot. I have shown him in driving. And he is built, of course, very stocky. And he can easily pull a thousand pounds. He can pull my husband, uh, my husband and me, he can pull us in the cart for a long period of time and come up not even winded or sweating. He's in, he's gotten a little fat lately, but he's, he's a very good driving horse. And so that is what we are hoping to do with Teddy. Of course, he's a baby. So we're talking pulling weight not for maybe another three or four years. However, as he gets older, I will introduce him to the harness. I will have him pull around maybe styrofoam noodles, something very light, just to get him used to that motion and used to pulling something behind him, get him used to the blinders on, or the blinkers on his, um, on the part of the harness that goes over their face, the headpiece. And so a lot of what I'm starting to train him with now is a foundation for that. So. I won't, uh, I won't continue talking too long here because I really would like to, this is going to be raw footage. I have no idea how he will react today. He's a foal. Some days he's right on target. Other days, uh-uh, he's got his own ideas about things. And he's lately gone through this nipping thing where he just likes to mouth everything. Not, not just me. It's not like he aggressively pins his ears back and tries to bite me but he is wanting to mouth everything, wanting to put everything in his mouth, if it's a blanket, if it's a chair. So I may uh, get a smaller stall ball, they're called. They're a little ball that have like a handle that um, horses can pick up and kind of chew on. But I ha have been uh, 
scolding him when he does bite. I don't like him even nipping a little bit. He's usually very good. Once in a while, he'll grab over and, you know, he'll turn his head over and grab my sleeve of my sweatshirt or my jacket. And of course, um, I usually will just go, eh, and he'll stop right away. He's very, um, he's not a strong-willed horse, if you want to call it that, like a strong-willed child. He usually um, responds very quickly to a reprimand. So I am going to pause this for a minute and get his halter and lead light on, and then I will show you some of the things I have been working on. Okay, now with launching, I don't do a lot with him. I don't, my personal preference, I don't like to do a lot of lunging with such a young horse. I like to do just a little bit, have him walk a little bit. We've done a little bit of trotting. He's still learning. I have not used a lunge whip with him. He is used to, I can take the lunge whip and rub it on him, but um, he's very responsive just to my hands most of the time. Now, I have no idea how he's going to do today. This is all raw footage, but I'm going to drop this on the ground and I'm going to push him gently and tell him to walk. And I wiggle my fingers, walk, 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 oh. Now, that doesn't look like a lot, but to me that was very, very good. He was relaxed, he was listening to me, and I don't need to have him running in circles for a long period of time. If he does that real well, I reward him, and I'll try it one more time in this direction. And walk, steady walk. as you're lunging them. But with Teddy, I just have him stand here, stand, and then I curry to you forward, walk. side now, okay? Let's see if we can go from the other side. Well, he decided he wanted to canter over that. <laughs> Stand still. What a good boy. You want to go one more time in the opposite direction? Mm -hmm. Let me try it one more time this way. Cha cha. Cha cha. Good boy. What a good boy. He's really showing off right now. Stand. So, that is how we progress. And again, I don't do much of this. Maybe five, ten minutes a day is enough. It just gives them something for their mind to think about. It teaches them skills. 
and foals really need to develop their muscles and their hindquarters. Of course, he gets a lot of exercise running around with Salem. Also, another thing that develops their hindquarter muscles is to back them, back. And again, you'll see me, I'll do pressure release, back, back, back. If he listens to me, I release the pressure on him. So I think that's it for now. I might have a few cute photos at the end. Take care until my next update. Bye-bye. Thank you.